I'm Todd from Metronome Music and Cycle to Go, and today we're going to shoot a little video to show you some tips and tricks for uh, installing Tannis tires. Uh, this is going to be an abbreviated video that just kind of shows some little pointers. Uh, for a full installation video, be sure to check out our other videos that we have on YouTube. Uh, so for today, we already have our Tannis tire measured up, and we have installed the, the locking pins. Now, one of the first tricks that we have is especially on tires where the pin is kind of the same width as the bottom part of the tire. If you put them in slightly off center so that the tabs stick out on one side and don't quite poke through on the other. So videos. So using this small uh, section of tire as an example, uh, we have our locking pins sticking part way out on one side. And if I was going to install this on this rim, I would want to position it in like this so that the uh, side where it's not sticking out will be punched underneath the edge of the rim. And the part where the tab's sticking slightly out, uh, so you have a little spot where you can get the tool in on top of the locking pin for pressing down. Uh, this will allow the pin to flex when you press it down because it'll have a surface that it's flexing against on the back side. Um, and then allow you to, to snap the pin in. So now back with our full-size tire, I have it angled in at the back side, and I'm bringing the tool up on the top edge of the pin. Now the trick for doing this is you want to put the pressure as close to the center of the pin as possible. Um, that makes it easier to flex, so I'm actually kind of pulling the tool into the sidewall of the tire a little bit as I push down, and that allows it to snap in place. So another thing to talk about is the optional P-tool or installation pliers. Uh, these can make it a lot easier to snap the locking pins in place, especially if you have a wide tire in comparison to your rim. So these work uh, real similar to the stick tool in that you want to bring it in, position it over the top edge of the locking pin, and then you kind of rotate it until you have the tool at the bottom edge of the rim. And again, pushing into the sidewall, you can snap it down in place to lock the pin in. And if you have a little bit of the edge of the tire still sticking up, sometimes you can just work it in by hand. Otherwise, you can either get in with the stick tool or the P-tool to just kind of punch it down in place so that it snaps into the rim. So now we have a few of the locking pins uh, snapped in place. So now we're going to stretch the tire over the rim. Now, the easiest way i found to do this is with the wheel sitting in your lap. You kind of want to hold the tire in place with your left hand, if you're right-handed and then you use the tool to kind of pry it in place. So we'll kind of lift up, and then I'll move my hand to hold it, tip the tool horizontal, stretch, hold, horizontal, stretch, hold, stretch, hold, stretch, hold. And of course, as you get closer to the end, it's gonna get a little harder to do, but the tool is very strong. And then you just want to carefully work the tool out, leaving the tire in place. So now we have the uh, tire stretched over the rim. Uh, now we just need to finish putting in the pins. So what I do is you want to, again, kind of work the tire in so that it's angled in on one side. And then once you've accomplished that, then you can just start right at the, the end where you left off. And just keep snapping in your locking pins. And that's the basics to installing a Tamas tire.